to enroll in the class in Google Classroom for the badge wall, simply navigate to classroom.google.com. From there, if you've never logged into Google Classroom before, you may be prompted to choose whether you are a teacher or a student. Even though you're technically a student in this situation, you want to make sure you choose teacher because if you choose to use it down the road with your actual students, you want to have those teacher privileges um, that aren't available to the students. Once you've done that, you're going to go to the top right corner near your username, click on the plus, and choose join class. Then it's going to prompt you to enter a six digit alphanumeric code. The code for this class is 19R34QC and click join. Once you have started the class, you'll see any assignments. In this class, there's only one, so to get started, click open. You'll notice that Google Classroom automatically creates your own copy of the document and it puts your name right afterwards so you don't have to worry about sharing a document or making a copy or anything like that. So when you're ready to begin, click on the actual file with your name attached. When you log in, your badge wall will be blank and to start learning you can choose a tool at the bottom, either Smart Notebook or MacBook Air, which are the laptops that staff members are getting later this spring. To start learning, click on Smart Notebook and you'll notice a list of topics. Now if you've used Smart Notebook before, some of these are going to seem very easy to you, but for those of you who have never used Smart Notebook, you'll likely want to start at the beginning. The great part about badge walls is that you can start anywhere you want, go in any order you want, and feel free to check off anything you already know how to do. You'll notice the description of the skill is listed here. This first one says, I can create a new Smart Notebook file and save it to my Google Drive. If you know how to do that already, you can go ahead and put an X in the box here. If you click on the link, you will be sent to another resource to teach you how to do that particular skill. It may be a YouTube video or another um, interactive document or someplace where you're going to learn how to do that thing. You can rewatch or relook at the resources as many times as you need to. When you feel like you've mastered that particular skill, simply go back to your badge wall and put the X in the box. When you have done that, if you go back to your badge wall, you'll notice that the badges will start to fill in. You can go through and learn as much or as little as you would like to in a given day. If you are a beginner, feel free to start at the beginning and go through as quickly or as slowly as you need to. If you are more of an advanced user, feel free to go a little bit more quickly. This particular badge wall is designed to have lots of different levels of learning so that even the most advanced users will hopefully have something new they can add to their teaching toolbox. When you're done learning, it's important to not turn in uh, the document. If you turn it in, Google Classroom thinks that you're finished with it and it will automatically revoke your editing privileges. If you turn it in by mistake, simply let me know and I can return it to you and restore your editing privileges. To access your badge wall once you've started, you can either go back into Google Classroom and follow the same steps we did before, or you can also go to your Google Drive. Since Classroom stores all of its files in Google Drive, you can actually access your files another way too. You can go into your drive and there will now be a folder there called Classroom. If you open that, it will show you any classes that you have been enrolled in or that you have taught in. You're going to open the folder and within there you'll see your document for your badge wall. Once you click that, you can open it and work with it just like any other Google Drive document or spreadsheet. And because it's in Google Drive, the changes are automatically saved. You don't have to save it and you don't have to do anything else with it when you're done learning. Simply close it out and the changes will be saved.